Hi! Have you ever tried some alcoholic beverages? Like cocktail drinks? <laughs> you might find it weird that I ask, right? But no worries! This just suddenly reminds me of our next topic, which we will be discussing. So, again, hello and welcome to Data Structure and Algorithm. For today's video, we will be discussing another sorting algorithm, which is Cocktail Shaker Sort. So, let's start with the question, what is cocktail sort? Cocktail sort is the variation of bubble sort, which traverses the list in both directions alternatively. Ang cocktail sort is may pagkakaparehas ng bubble sort, pero ang pagkakaiba lang kasi nila, ang cocktail is pwede siyang pabalik. Cocktail sort is also called as bidirectional bubble sort. Sa bubble sort, ang first iteration is moves the largest elements to its correct position. Ganun din sa mga susunod na largest elements. Hahanapin mo yung exact position nila hanggang sa masort mo yung mga elements. But cocktail sort traverses in both directions alternatively. Pag cocktail naman kasi, pwede siya papunta, pwede din siya pabalik. Applying cocktail sort in a real life scenario, like pag exam day, there are some prof na nag-require ng students niya to be seated in a specific order. To be exact, they want them to be alphabetically arranged by their last name. And to achieve this, they can use cocktail shaker sort algorithm. First is by going through the rows of students' chair from left to right and then right to left, comparing the last names of adjacent students. Two, if any two students are out of order, they can swap their position until i repeat mo lang yung process na to until na yung entire classroom is sorted alphabetically. Second real life example could be like, imagine yourself organizing a fundraising event and you have the list of donors who have made contributions with their names and donation amount. You were given a task to sort those in descending order based on their respective donation amounts. And your algorithm will be like this. First, you start with the entire list of donors. You iterate through the list from left to right, comparing adjacent pairs of donation amounts. Two, if the donation amount on the right is greater than one on the left, you swap their positions to move the larger amount towards the right. Three, after reaching the end of the list, you reverse the direction and iterate from right to left. 4. Again, you compare adjacent pairs of donation amounts and swap them if the amount on the right is greater. Step 5. You continue this back and forth movement like shaking a cocktail shaker until no more swaps are required. And lastly, step 6. Finally, you have a sorted list with the donors in descending order based on their donation amounts. The difference between bubble sort and cocktail shaker sort. A bubble sort is a simple comparison based algorithm in which each pair of adjacent elements is compared and are swapped if they are not in order. Repeat until the list is sorted. A bubble sort daw is pag compare your first element and second element, Pag alam mo yung mababa yung unang elements sa pangalawa elements, hindi sila magkusap. Pero pag alam mo mas mataas yung first elements yung second elements, is magkusap sila. Pero hindi sa sunod elements hanggang sa masort mo yung elements. Pero ang bubble sort, ang process ng sorting niya is pa-forward lang. Hindi, uh, pag nagsusorting ka is, pag wabot ka na hanggang dulo, babalik ka ulit lang yung lang. Magkasorting ulit yun, tapos mapalit ulit ng una, magkasorting hanggang sa masorting na yung mga elements. It has complexity of, in the worst case, which makes in inefficient for large lists. While cocktail shaker sort is a simple comparison based on the written in which pair of adjacent elements is compared and are swapped if they are not in order. This sorts the list in both directions starting from the beginning and the end. Ang cocktail naman is pag nag-prepare yung unang element and second element is ganun din siya sa bubble sort pero ang kagandahan lang ng cocktail shaker sort is 
is yung sa sorting nila. Pag nagkasort ka na sila, yung sa cocktail is pwede siyang papunta, pwede din siyang pabalik. Kaya mas napagbilis na yung pag-sorting nila. And, it has complexity in the worst case which makes it inefficient for largeness. However, it can perform better than the bubble sort in some cases. Halimbawa, yung mga elements mo is uh, ascending. Okay lang. We have one. Of course, you will start with an unsorted array. Begin the first stage by looking through the array from left to right. For example, we have an index 0 and index 1. Compare each adjacent pair of elements. If the left element is greater than the right element, magic magsuswap yung laman ng index 0 and index 1. Continue this process until you reach the end of the Alright, ulitin nyo lang siya ng ulitin guys yung nasabing process hanggang sa makarating kayo sa max index na kaya ng kayo. After completing the stage, the largest element will be placed at the end of the array. After nyo ma-process yung pa-forward sorting, so we will begin the second stage by looking through the array from the rightmost unsorted element to the left pa-backward sort naman tayo guys. Yun yung ano, pinagkaiba ng bubble sort at cocktail shaker sort. So, ang kagandahan dito, mas mabilis siya kasi meron tayong pa-backward sorting. Repeat lang natin yung step 3 which is yung compare each adjusted pair of element. For example, ang max index natin ay index natin. So, we will, we will compare it to index 8. So, if the right element is smaller than the left element, matik magsasok yun. Yun yung process na kailangan nitong shaker sorting. So, continue this process until you reach the beginning of the array. So, continue lang siya. Ulitin nyo lang din hanggang sa makarating kayo sa pinaka umpisa or sa index 0. After completing the second stage, the smallest element will be placed at the beginning of the array. So, Repeat the first and second stages until array is fully sorted. So, hindi lang siya natapos ng isang balik lang. Para siyang bubble sorting. Pinabilis lang kasi meron pa mag-wide sorting. So, ulitin nyo lang yung process hanggang sa maging sorted na ang mga elements. The array is considered fully sorted when no more swap are needed during the stages. So, masasabi lang na process complete yung ating pagsasort kapag wala nang kailangan iswap. Yun. So, dito guys at ang isuto ko. First is get the length of the array and the next is swap is equals to variable to track if any swaps were made. So, we start tayo sa zero index and then end index. Well, swap is true, so meaning continue until no more swaps are made. Swap is equals to false, so magkakaroon tayo ng reset swap. For the forward pass, so magkakaroon tayo ng iterate from start to end, and then compare the adjusted elements. And then swap elements if necessary. Swap is equals to, it means set swap to fail to true. If swap is false, so meaning if no swaps were made, in the forward pass, the array is sorted and then magkakaroon tayo na break. Then swap is equals to false. End is equals to minus 1. Decrement the end of the index. Sa backward pass naman, mag-iterate tayo from end to start. And then compare the adjusted elements. And then swap sila kung kinakailangan. And swap is equals to true. And then set swap plug to true. So start is equals to start plus 1. Meaning, Increment the start index and then return R.
piece of unsorted hair right here, which is 20, 1, 15, 5, 25, 5, and 10. In iteration number 1, forward pass, 20 and 1, 1 is less than 20, so they need to swap. 20 and 15. 15 is less than 20, so they need to swap. Number 20 and 5. 5 is less than 20, so they need to swap. 20 and 25. 25 is greater than 20. No swapping. 5 and 25. 5 is less than 25, so they need to swap. 25 and 10. 10 is less than 25, so they need to swap. So the higher element is at his proper index, which is 25. So we will go at the backward pass. 5 and 10. 5 is less than 10, so no swapping. 20 and 5. 5 is less than 20, so they need to swap. 5 and 5, so they are equal, so no swapping. 15 and 5. 15 is greater than 5, so they need to swap. 1 and 5. 1 is less than 5, so no swap. So the index 0 and, and index 6 at kaya na sa tamang position na. So, punta naman tayo sa iteration number 2, ang forward pass. So, for the second iteration of forward pass, since na-reach na natin yung pinaka-smallest element, we need to move for the second adjacent element. So, compare natin si 5, 10, 15. 5 is less than 15, no swap, second, compare natin si 15 and 5, 15 is greater than 5, they need to swap. Next is compare natin si 15 and 20, 20, now, 15 less than 20, no swap, second is compare natin si 20 and 10, 20 is greater than 10, they need to swap, last, compare natin si 20 and 25. 20 is less than 25, so no need to swap. So for the second iteration of forward pass, we have the completed elements, which are 1, 5, 5, 15, 10, 20, and 25. So next is for the second iteration of forward pass. So since the region to, to the second highest value, so we need to move for the second adjusted element. So compare natin si 10 and 15. Since 15 is greater than 10, they need to swap. Second, compare natin si 10 and 5. So, since 5 less than 10, no need to swap. Next is, compare natin si element 5 and then 5. No need to swap because equal to sila. So, for the second iteration of pop and fast, we have the completed elements, which are 1, 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. So for the third iteration of forward pass, we need to check if they have unsorted this element. So, so dahil sorted na siya, mag-stop na yung ating iteration. In my conclusion, both capital shaker sort and bubble sort are comparison-based sorting algorithms that operate by repeatedly swapping adjacent elements if they are in wrong order. They have some similarities, but there are also differences between them. About direction of traversal, in bubble sort, the traversal is unidirectional, moving from the beginning of the list to the end repeatedly. In capital shaker sort, the traversal is bidirectional, moving alternatively from the beginning to the end, and then from the end to the beginning. When it comes about the iteration, Capital shaker sort typically reduces the number of iterations compared to the bubble sort. This is because during each pass, it performs both forward and backward reversals which can potentially eliminate elements from the beginning and the end of the list, reducing the number of comparisons and swaps needed. So early termination naman, cocktail shaker sort can be optimized to terminate early if no swaps are performed during a pass. This means that if the list is already sorted, 
Cattle feeder swab can identify if and stop hydrating, whereas bubble soap will continue until it completes all the iterations. About the mang complexity, so kung mapapansin nyo, is nabanggit na siya doon sa introduction. So sabi doon, both algorithms have a worst case time, complexity of big O of N squared, and a best case time complexity of big O of N when the list is already subtended. However, the average case complexity for the cattle sugar soap is generally better than bubble soap due to the bidirectional traversal. So, kung mapapansin nyo, is same lang siya dun sa nangyari sa original na bubble sort. So, pinaghiwalay lang yung loop. Regarding the use of nested loops, both bubble sort and cattle shaker sort use a single loop to iterate through the lists. So, bubble sort requires a nested loop to perform comparisons and swaps as it needs to iterate through the list multiple times. So, while the cattle shaker sort eliminates the need for the nested loops, by performing bidirectional traversals within a single loop. So, cattail shaker sort is a variation of bubble sort that incorporates bidirectional traversals and can potentially reduce the number of iterations. It eliminates the need for nested loops, but still maintains the basic principles of comparing adjacent elements and swapping them in a society.